Today I'm at North High School and Ms. Miller is doing a food truck project for the students and invited me to come in and speak to them and educate them and give them some knowledge and wisdom on what it takes to open up a food truck. I'm super excited to be here. Um, you know, I'm Tyson Sanchez, I'm 29 years old, a young entrepreneur, and yeah, 29. I'm a hustler, I'm a hustler. Uh, from Sioux City, Iowa, I actually grew up in Leeds, Iowa, which is right over here, so this is like my old stomping grounds. And you know, in these very uh, same seats that you're sitting in, I sat in in 2011, was that 12 years ago almost? So, getting old. This is uh, my taco truck, um, and obviously I took this in front of North, I think this was about a year or two ago. And so, having that said, I just want to talk a little bit about my past, how I got started, and then we can go into talking about the food truck project that you guys are going to be doing. It includes, um, you know, developing a menu, understanding, you know, costs, budgeting, how to budget labor costs, food costs. Uh, also, you know, just hiring different positions, you know, understanding the SWOT analysis, which is obviously your strengths, your weaknesses, opportunities that might be there for you, and, and obviously threats. Um, you know that might hurt your business what you have to look out for so but after doing the restaurant for five years in 2016 I was ready to make my next move I saved twenty four thousand dollars cash and I was ready to buy my next investment which was a taco truck so this was my first taco truck um, you know and when I started the when we when I got the food truck there was no food truck scene in Sioux City Iowa you know, like some of you might have heard, you know, there was a food truck on Court Street that was, you know, kind of spray painted, you know, pop tires, and, and people had the idea of roach toast. You know, not many people were, you know, food truck friendly, okay? And I wanted to change people's perspective. I wanted to commercialize the food truck scene. You know, I didn't have a mentor, I didn't know what to do, but I just did it and things started happening. And so, in 2016, the same year I opened up my first taco truck, uh, we started Food Truck Fridays with Downtown Partners. Sarah Fish and I and many of the people in that organization um, started that and that literally catapulted my brand. And it was an awesome way for a lot of um, small business owners in the food industry to get their cuisines out to the public. They're learning a lot of, I mean, real world, you know, skill sets. Um, and I think, you know, entrepreneurship, you know, the fact that she's doing this for the kids is a big deal. I think, uh, you know, having this in our school system, teaching kids, uh, you know, maybe who want to open their own business and want to be an entrepreneur, I, I think it's just a, a really good concept um, to maybe help kids maybe pique their interest in that profession if they will so I, I just think it's it's really good because more and more people are wanting to be their own boss but maybe they don't know how or what goes into it and so if they kind of get a little sneak peek of what might what it might takes to be you know self-employed I think they might pursue it a lot more it is possible if you put your mind to it and believe in yourself and you know you just got to dream big and that's it